How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and yes, I am subsoling at 18, 19 miles an hour and I'm on console. Yeah, I'm on the PS5 today. Let me go show you how. So yeah, you guys saw that right. I was able to subsoil faster than the working speed of that subsoiler. And how did I do it? Well, it's this right here. This is the self-made weight by Polycount Taz. And one really cool feature that it has is a hydraulic pin right here. And the awesome thing about this is any piece of equipment that has a pin style attachment point, you're gonna be able to hook up to this. Now I say anything, there are some that I've run into that you do have a little bit of problem, but for the most part, just about everything is gonna work here, including this awesome Rosslamash K12200 cultivator right here. So how does it work? Let me go and hook up to this thing and I'm gonna show you. All I need to do is back up till I get my message here. Boom, hit X and now it's attached. As you can see, it's down in a lowered position. But if I switch to my uh, self-made weight on the implement up in the top and then I hit uh, L1 and circle, it's gonna raise it and then it's gonna lower it. Really interesting. And if I look here at my implement, it's gonna do the same thing, raise and lower. So if I, raise, if I raise this up and I raise up my weight right here, now everything is really high off the ground. Everything still touches, all right, but it's not actually gonna do any work. So let me show you what that looks like here in the field. You know, as you can see right here, it's not doing anything at all. So I'm gonna switch over and I'm going to lower down the cultivator only, all right? So now as I start to go forward, you can see that I'm gonna get up 13, 14, 15, 16 miles an hour. And that's because the weight is in the raised position. Now, if I take this and I lower it down, guess what happens? Nine miles an hour. That's the trick. This weight, whenever you raise it and lower it, it lets you increase your speed or not. This is a game changer for console players that want to do some fast farming like we were able to do in 19 right here. This is how you're going to be able to do it. Now, I tried this trick out with some of the other weights also that you can attach to, and it doesn't work on those. This is the only one that I've been able to find. And you may be wondering, does this work on other pieces of equipment too? Oh yeah. Check this out. 17, 19, 21, 23, 25 miles an hour picking up rocks. Oh yeah. This is a game changer for picking up rocks. And as you can see, right there, the exact same attachment. And this is what that attachment point needs to look like. It's just gonna have a single hole going all the way through it. If you've got a dome over the top, it's not gonna work. And whenever you hook up, it's not gonna attach here. It's actually gonna try and grab the ball hitch that's inside there, and it like makes the tractor go flying. So be careful, make sure that you're getting ones like this. Like I said, not all of them that I've tested have worked, and there's so many new mods coming out right now that I just wanna go ahead and say, if it's got this on it right here, give it a try, and maybe it's gonna work for you. But I know this Limkin Solitaire 12 does work. As you can see, we're maxing out the tractor here at 25 miles an hour. And if I come across, you can see the texture has changed and you can see that we put wheat in the ground. And if you need to do some planting, the Kinsey 3665 works with it also. As you can see, we just planted some corn. The way this works is because you're in a elevated state here, it doesn't think that the uh, implement is actually doing any work. So you're able to go faster. It's overriding the speed limit of the implement. And, you know, whenever you lower it down and everything's in a straight line, it thinks, oh, yeah, then, you know, it's it's time to work. I've got to slow down. But by having this raised up and your implement down, that's what tricks, you know, the 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 physics, the mechanics of the game and allows you to go that faster speed. Now, I'm using a ginormous case quadrac 620 right here because it has the most horsepower, 692 horses. And I did some testing. If you've got smaller tractors, you don't see the increase all the way up to the max of the tractor. And that's because grip and physics of the tires plays a lot bigger role here in 22 than it did in 19. So if you plan on doing some fast farming, you're gonna need some bigger tractors to be able to do this. Now it will work on the smaller tractors, but you're not gonna see as much of an increase. I was doing something that was only about 50, 75 horsepower over the implement, and I was only getting about two miles per hour. That was on a flat ground also, so once you start getting on some hills, then that's when your tires are really gonna matter. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about 
the grip and how tire selection matters and affects your hills and your different surfaces and everything like that. We did a three part series taking a look at it. I'm going to go and link the first one up here above and go ahead and check out all three of those. There's a lot of really interesting information in those videos. And to be thorough, I went ahead and checked out sprayers, fertilizer spreaders. I checked out balers and rollers. None of these work with this trick. The reason is because most of these have a PTO. When you get a PTO involved in this, it, it doesn't like um, to go faster than what the implement allows, even if you can raise it. Now you can attach it, you can use it, it does the work, but it just doesn't go faster. And the roller over here, I'm not sure what's going on with it. We should be able to go a little bit faster, it didn't matter if I was in the elevated state or the lower down state, I couldn't get the roller to work either. So as of right now, there's only a select subsoilers that are a pull type. You've got the uh, cultivator. There's a couple of those you can do, the cedar and the planter. But I mean, that's a lot of what you're going to need to do. I mean, if you've got weeds turned off, you don't need to do this. Fertilizing, it's going to be, you know, a really widespread on a lot of those fertilizer spreaders. So I don't think you necessarily need the fast farm doing fertilizer. And unfortunately with bales, you're still going to have to spend some time picking those up and the rolling. I mean, this thing is massive. It's big, it's wide, put a worker on it and you're going to be okay. But I mean, you can get three of your tasks done. You can uh, cultivate or plow. You're going to be able to pick up the rocks and then you're going to be able to put your seed in the ground. So those three things right there, you are going to be able to do fast. And I just wanted to share this with all the console players out there that are wishing they could get the real speed limit mod on the mod hub. Um, unfortunately it's not going to work right now for consoles. So this is the best option that you have to be able to go a little bit faster. Like I said, there's a couple things that you need to make sure you do get a bigger tractor, get some really good tires on the thing and you should be good to go. But that's going to be it for today's video. Everybody, if you want to stay up to date on all my other tips and tricks, testing videos and stuff that we do here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit the notification bell too, but until those next videos come out, go ahead and check out one of these right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Till next time, this is Driver53, signing off.